So one of the things we want to do is say that events can be sponsored by user groups and user groups can sponsor events. This is a pretty common kind of thing in a website where you want to link content together. Because events are sponsored by user groups, we want to have the user group information available to every event, etc., etc. So let's set this up. Click Add Field. If you're a database person, you probably recognize this as a many-to-many -many relationship within the data. Click on Select a Field Type, and this time choose Reference Content. And let's call this Events Sponsored and click Save and Continue. We're asked what type of item to reference. And you can see there's a lot here. We're going to keep it very simple. Choose Content and choose Unlimited. Click Save Field Settings. Now here on the Settings page, we get to choose which content types are referenced by user groups. Well, we are referencing the event's content type so here, when I'm adding an event, all it's going to show when I start typing the event title is the events. We want to make sure that you get the right content type here. So choose events and click Save Settings. Now we need to do the same thing over in our events content type. So click on Structure Content Types here in the breadcrumbs and choose Events and select Manage Fields. Let's add a field. And once again, we're referencing content and in the label choose Event Sponsors. Click Save and Continue. Change it to Unlimited because more than one user group could theoretically sponsor an event. Save Field Settings. And this time choose User Groups because we're referencing User Groups for the Event Sponsors field. Click Save Settings. All right. This now links those two content types together in a many-to-many -many relationship based on event sponsors and what events are being sponsored by what user groups.